Hello my friends and welcome to my living room. This looks familiar to those of you who um, studied the Lenten devotion with me and to those of you who haven't, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Well, let's go ahead and get straight into our devotion. Um, again, it is uh, the theme that we're going with for this first week is the gift of hope. And the name of our devotion for today is pretty good. It's our salvation. The verse that we're going to read is Romans 8 verse 24. And it says, for in this hope, we are saved. Now that's something we can memorize. That is, let's see here, seven words. So Romans 8 verse 24, for in this hope, we are saved. And it's so true. That's a good one to have locked away in there. Okay, our devotion says, another one of the gifts that comes to us through hope is the gift of salvation. From St. Paul's perspective in Romans 8, salvation is defined by the word freedom. But notice how it is that St. Paul writes in this context, we were saved. Not in hope I was saved, though that is also true, but in hope we are saved. You, me, I love that. Often we are much too busy looking out only for ourselves, but we may tend, oh, and we may tend to reduce salvation to this same microscopic vision of promising hope and miss the big picture. The big picture sees not only that we have been groaning in the midst of our pains and struggles, but that the whole creation has been groaning under the same weight. As people of Advent stirred up through the spirit of Christ, we share in the pain of others. In times such as ours, we are oft, or we, we often see the visible signs of the creation struggling under the enslavement of sin. We have faith and hope that God has other plans in mind. Indeed, in sending the gift of hope in Jesus Christ, we are set free through Christ to set all free in the, same, in the name of Christ. There is always the struggle, but hope in Christ trusts where all of this is leading to freedom. As the old spiritual goes, deep in my soul, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. Let's pray. Lord, save us from the threatening dangers of our sins and help us embrace your song of freedom and salvation for all. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow.